think about that? Think... Why, YouTube? Why? Why have you also started this? We're not even... I'm, I'm early. Think... Whatever. Why, YouTube? Because I hear my own repeats. I get, like, starting the stream automatically if, like, I'm past time, but... Whatever. Good evening, all. Hopefully you're well. Well of me. Well, I might have been. That's what I am sure. It started in a few moments or so. I was not anticipating this to just immediately blast the starting here. So I'm just having to quickly do a couple of bits and pieces. So give me a second. The software it's meant to do is I click start streaming and it's just saying, okay, it's working. When you're ready to go, you know, press the start button. But, uh, I mean, truth be told, it's probably the, the least of what my problems have been over the past uh, week or so. Uh, where do we even begin? Um, cheers, Sean. Um, where to begin here? Uh, before we get started, we were doing some, some games here, but I should probably detail where we're at here. First of all, uh, as folks join in, I don't want to say, I guess, sorry, although there's not much I really could have done about it. Uh, we've obviously not had a ton of uh, content on the channel, Uprising-wise. Uh, the TLDR, <coughs> if you haven't been made aware, I've left my drink over there as I've got to go get that in a second, um, is we did a stream of Uprising, it was like last Monday of last week, uh, which was, it was a pretty good stream, actually, uh, but I did notice towards the end that my voice was not feeling too great and i was like you know i figured it just because i've been doing a lot i stream like three times in four days sort of thing between this and my own channel um so i was like okay so be it uh I had a horrendous night and uh after a few days it turned out that i had basically a full-blown throat infection i've been on antibiotics uh, to try and help with that um, but yeah, my, my throat, especially back here, it's just been like really, really bad. Uh, anti inflammatories as well to try to assist with that. Um, I have recorded a video, uh, last, uh, yesterday, last night, uh, which will hopefully get onto the, up onto the channel as soon as possible. Uh, and that is from the Stoneburner Open. But uh, yeah, when when you're in the business of doing audios and commentaries, that sort of thing, having a, a throat infection is is not really what you want. Um, so that's been pretty bad. Uh, on top of that, I've also had some issues with my left hand. Uh, hence, I've got this on currently. Uh, I don't even need to have this on during the, the evenings, but I have it on sometimes during the day as well. Um, there's something going on, I think, with the nerves in my left hand, but I don't entirely know. I've got an appointment over at the hospital in about a week and a half or so. Uh, so that's not been helping. Uh, I also move home in about a week. So that's not been helping. <laughs> Suffice to say, I've had better weeks. Um, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, but I think this side of things is at least largely okay now i've still got the course antibiotics still taking them uh, and it still feels a bit iffy a couple of some um, during the evenings and like trying to sleep and such but you know all in a day's work i suppose well i mean i'm trying i'm trying as um as beyond but sometimes life kind of doesn't allow that and unfortunately this is kind of one of those times where i don't get a lot of I don't get a lot of choice in the matter. Is what it is. Anyways, uh, we are going to. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the third move I've had in the space of a year as well. It has been very, very funky. So there's going to be some. Some. Uh, what's what I'm looking for here? Some. Some knock on effects. We'll go with that. Um, but it can't be any worse than what has been in the past week, which has been basically a complete shutdown of everything. It has sucked. So, yeah, that's kind of where we've obviously not had a lot going on. Uh, but uh, hopefully things will be all right, um, you know, and, and moving on. But it's still going to be a bit of uh, some degree of... Ah, I can't forget the word. It's bugging me. Disruption. 
we'll go with that. Some degree of disruption over the next couple of weeks or so for me. Um, so that is, it is what it is. Uh, in the midst of all this, I've still I've allegedly got a co uh, competition I've got playing, so I should probably try and get some <coughs> try and get some practice in, right? Probably should do. Uh, I will note, by the way, just a heads up: uh, when the video does drop of the game, like I tried to mute whenever I was going to cough. I did not always get to mute when I was coughing. So if you're lo looking for a, uh, a a nice soothing ASMR style uh commentary you should probably skip the next one it wasn't too bad um but you know not my finest work we'll go with that but other than that hopefully you guys are reasonably well and such uh i need to go get my drink give me a second because i've left it over here at my pool can't even remember the last time i actually had a like a, a throat infection like a proper throat infection i've had sore throats every now and again but like an actual proper throat infection i can't even i can't even tell you the last time it's just been a period of just dodgy health for me the past couple of months or so it's been one thing after another i guess you go through these phases is what it is so yeah we're gonna play at least a couple of games of uprising maybe a third kind of depends how we go here obviously i've not had the chance to have uh, a lot of practice Due to, you know, the things. Um, I'm aware there's been things going on, on the side. Also, a couple of folks I know have been kind of putting up some of their own stuff for, um, for like, their own bits and pieces regarding competitions. I know that Cheese has put up a video kind of looking at his first game. I think uh, even Sean, I believe, you did something for, uh, what, for your match you played, I believe. I, I sort of saw it in a feed somewhere. I haven't had a chance to really look at it or anything like that, but I did... I did notice something come up somewhere, so... You know, no, no, it is appreciated. Obviously, there's there's only so much I can cover anyways when I'm well, competition-wise. Um, obviously, this hasn't it's certainly helped that. So it's nice to have folks kind of doing their own bits and pieces, um, you know. In an ideal world, we'd have, like, a team of, like, a dozen people covering everything. Yeah, it is what it is. So we should probably... Um, probably just get a, an LFG up and kind of see where we go here. To be fair, looking back at the past couple of um, streams that I've actually done, um, the funny part is like we've actually had a pretty good record. Uh, we played um, uh, Doom Digital a couple of days or so ago. That was a pretty wild game. And even like looking back, like um, over the games I have been playing. Like, we've actually won quite a few matches, and if we've not won, we've typically gone like even second or the occasional third. So, like, as far as form wise is concerned, we've actually been playing pretty decently. Um, maybe that's more luck than than judgment. Truthfully, it's not a it's not a question I can properly properly answer. Um, but I'll take it. You know, as I, as I will as I say, and I always say, like for me, like it's, it matters more to me. Feel like I played well. And if I feel like I keep playing well, then I'm going to win more games than if I didn't sort of thing. You know, it's it's more important to me to have like a game that feels like it flowed well and I made the right, generally the right decisions. Um, you know, you're not always going to get it right. Um, you know, as a, you, there are games that you can play really well and you cannot win. And there are games where you play pretty shocking and you sort of stumble your way to victory. So... Such is the vagaries of competition. So. <laughs> but yeah, this this is not bad considering what, what they've had uh, previously. So, And, you know, I've, there's been messages dotted about of, uh, you know, folks watching me well, and I do appreciate it. Um, it's just this and this is not really what i needed right now um when i've got a home move in like a week or so it's not what i needed at all uh, this will clear this this not necessarily but it is what it is i i might keep this on i might take this off uh trying to type on a keyboard with this is it's an experience it's an experience 
Anyways, we need to go ahead and make the lobby here. So let's get ourselves rocking and rolling. Good. I did put in a couple of notes on the... Uh... I did put in a couple of notes on the uh, bug tracker of a couple of suggestions I think they could do with for the board. Uh, I should probably go and look to see if uh, there's been... I think one of them got responded to at least. I don't think the other one did. Yeah. Um, I have asked if there's a way to get like the, the scoring track up on the top right. Because that doesn't exist at the moment for the black seat, which means any time we record a video... Uh, I feel kind of obliged to put the scoreboard up there, and that does add like 20, 30 minutes to every single editing time, which is not, it's not the best. What you gonna do? Okay, so we'll get ourselves sat down here. What are we doing? Reverse hidden. Uh, pool of seven, as is in the competitions. I have a feeling I need to load the boards. Call it a hunt. Because that is a thing that happens for me from time to time. So, randomize that and that. By the way, have any of you guys had a curiosity? Not that I'm worried about myself too much, but any of you guys particularly like try playing the old expansion stuff on this mod? Does it like work well? Does it not? Kind of curious. Oops, get rid of that. Again, trying to do this with a, with a wrist brace on is a little tricky. So let's get ourselves set up here, I guess. <coughs> okay, so we find ourselves in seat two. Okay, fair enough. There's a lot of there's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. Opening contracts, Arakeen's pretty popular. It's a pretty solid one. Uh, the harvest cells, the harvest cells. Jeez, that kind of day. Uh, the harvest free for free is also okay. A couple of very strong cards on the row though. Public spectacle and Steelgar both sitting out there. Both look very attractive. If uh, Staban is there, in as an option, likely some will try and pick him. Would, St would a Staban player first turn reveal? You don't really see in Uprising people insta-revealing. Don't really see that a lot. What do we got over here? Staban is sitting there. No Fade, no Gurney, no Muad'Dib. Margo's pretty tempting. Irulan. It's not a great board for Irulan, truthfully. Staban is like a take, but the thing is, it's a very risky take. I would not be surprised if first position took um, Public Spectacle and took Staban and went for that. The problem is, if I take Staban, I'm forced to auto-reveal early. So, I'm going to go with Margo here. And not like completely railroad, railroad myself down that path. Give myself a little bit of uh, a bit of option here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's fine. You, you should do though. I mean, like it is a little. You know, it's not the clean. It's tabletop simulator, but it does the job pretty well. Yeah, sorry, Randy. It's if if I do it, like I'm forced to reveal. The problem is if I take two actions, or if, or if first place does an action and reveals ahead of me and takes spectacle, we're in real trouble. Um, it's a great card for him, but it's it's a little too risky for second position. Margot's going to be a bit more consistent. I can go for this. I can maybe make a play for Stilgar. You know, I've got I've got options. I don't want to completely rare mode myself, get denied, and then be an absolutely dire situation. It's hard to get six as, as the bomb. First round. Um, I mean, the primary cards you should probably add, they are decent overall. So I would probably look to try and get them played if you can. We see Amatuli to the right, Gurney, and it was Shadam to our left side. Okay, interesting.
Yeah. These spores is not bad. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not the worst card. Those three swords are pretty good. Wow. Well, this is going to be chaos here. So it's the Falter Skirmish, which I can't remember the last time I actually saw that. Uh, we've pulled Signet Ring and Diplo. So this should be interesting to kind of see how this plays out here. Amber goes for an early Imperial Basin. Amber Thule is going for... Um, looks like she's going for an early Espionage. She's going to make a punt for uh, Stilgar. With Seek Allies, by the looks of it. Uh, Persuasion's not great. We probably just have to go Frem Kit, right? I was kind of anticipating going to Liver Supplies... But I, I guess I can't really turn down Frem Kit here. Um, so. Oh, uh, yeah, it's true. So we'll open up with the Frem Kit move. We pull Convincing, which is a really good pull for us. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, I am going to put in two troops. I have a feeling that Amber's going to retreat one. I also, Gurney's likely just, just to, obviously, to go in for it. It keeps Shadarm out. I'm happy to spend four on Intrigue here. I think that'd be fine. Shadam obviously says the supplies, take the usual route, no shocks there. If Gurney puts the free in here, it means he intends not to do any more conflict. Which is entirely the truth. So okay. There goes uh he gets rid of recon. Wow, so he's got his I think he's got his diplo, his ring, and his convincing. By the looks of it. It's a trash recon there. No, Amber just goes for the dagger here. Okay. Amber must have six. She must have double convincing here. She must have double convincing. I mean, do we just go Arakeen? We have six. Amber's playing like she's got six. Gurney can't have it. And I don't think Shadam has it either. So I kind of have to keep it. We've got five. I was obviously tempted to answer something on myself, but it didn't quite happen. So I guess we just go Arakeen and just Signet Ring it. I guess I've got a little choice here. We pull the other dagger. Is it worth trying to win this? I think so. We've got double daggers. I think at this point, we'll just take this down. Let's get the spy there. I don't think on this combat that Gurney Halleck is trashing recon over a dagger. I just can't see it. Yeah, signet ring. I just can't see it happening. Just seems crazy to me. I expect we'll see his uh, his Diplo in a convincing. Or maybe double convincing. Amber only had five. She has to retrieve a trip, obviously. So, four. We still can get Calculus, though. Calculus is a good card for us. That's not bad. I can live with the calculus. Uh, could go be spoils actually. We'd have um, we'd be able to generate extra troops, and we'd also be able to generate some spice. Be spoils is actually not a bad card for us here. The calculus with the trashing is is a little too strong, so I think we have to take that over it realistically. But be spoils is is pretty close. Down with four. <coughs> Sorry. It's going to be a bit like that. Yeah, double convincing. Yeah, he, he did not want to trash his uh, his convincings. That was clear. 
So Gurney Hannock gets Steelgar round one, which is very scary. We'll take the conflict there. It's not a bad one for us. Strike Fleet does turn out. It's going to be hard for us to get that, though. Depends on what we draw. We are on redraws a bit, so we'll see what we, we, see what we find. We have to go pretty much automatic straight for whatever we do here. That's our hand. Oh, wow. Two, four, six. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We actually have some serious odds here. Tesla Loyalty is up. It matches us. We're never winning it. I don't think. I don't know. It's money, though. This could be interesting. It's it's frame kit regardless whatever we do. This is This is an automatic move. And we don't need to do anything right now. Hmm. It's kind of a weird conflict for us. Gurney's used his ring. He does have the Arakeen spy. Oh, he does have the Arakeen contract, of course. Little supplies, Batfisher Dam. He's going to be allowed to do basically whatever he wants. The question is, is seven combat strength ever enough to win this? That is the question here, basically. The answer is I don't know. Kind of a weird spot, this. I mean, we're probably encouraged to try and give us a go. It's very hard to pull an intrigue like that has combat strength without any spice requirement early on. It's about it's about one in six. Yeah, those are obviously both going in. I mean, going siege and just putting in both isn't bad. What have we got coming? Diplo, double dagger, convincing, and dune is our next is our next set of hands. I think we have to I think we have to go for it and give it a spin. Second place is still pretty good. Right? I think we gotta give it a spin. We put the spy down here. And we'll kinda see how we end up. We're not gonna get worms in meat it particularly soon, I don't expect. But we have to make a try here, I suppose, and kind of see what happens. We are first acting conflict, which is a little awkward. But again, the odds of Gurney or Amber having an actual battle intrigue that they can use here is not hugely likely. Um, and most of them are either like two or three swords. Um, there is, like, you can drop an influence bump for five. But again, it's like Tessa Loyalty is kind of a weird one. It's like, do you really want to do that for this? It's not a great combat for them. So the double the double Foxer back-to-back -back is very funky. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Gurney's going to stay out of this, no surprise. And then it'll be interesting to see what Amber does. If Amber's got five, she should probably just auto-reveal here. And just take Strike Fleet. That's what I would do. But you've got your Diplo card in hand. You kind of you kind of want to use it, you know. Is she gonna go Desert Tactics? Hmm. Okay, so we have six. As much as I do want Price on the Object, I think we just have to take Strike Fleet and put the Spine Hagger base at this point. I don't see how we can turn that down. off the pistol. It's not a bad row. Space time folding is alright. Tread is Tread is such a weird card. Like, I want to like this card more, but I don't think it's, I think it's a little tricky to use. Right, we cannot win the conflict anymore. So 
which is fine. But Stripe Fleet is a very scary card for us right now. <coughs> is it ever worth playing Weird in Combat to type us? I think it might be. I think it might be worth us tying the conflict here. And uh, dragging down, uh, dragging Shadam down. It's a really good, it's a really good reward for him. The Spy as well. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I think we did it. We'll force a tie. And we almost certainly can't really catch us, so. Unless something crazy happens. It seems impossible. We'll just force a tie here. Take the troop. Uh, this is not a tourney game. I would not stream a, a tournament game. That'd be insanity. We all ask if they're going to do anything. No. Okay. So, force the tie. I don't think that's worth stunting Shadam, Shadam there. It's not a bad card, but I think I think it's fine. I don't want him racing away on this track here. That's that's not good. So, out of here. Basin is next. So it is a ward conflict, which was reasonably likely. Shadam obviously will get to the desert port I ever could. It's obvious. It's kind of a reason I wanted to stunt him there, because I know he's going to get to Deep Desert. Going here, of course, we'll start barreling in. We'll take this down. He's not going to be stoppable. What do we want to do here? Wait, no one has gone Hagger Basin? What? Do I take the spy? I don't think so. I mean, sure, I'll just fucking, I'll, I'll just take the, I'll, I'll take the spice. Cool. Wow, that's pretty wild. I cannot believe that that's been allowed to get back around to me. That's pretty, pretty wild. I want to put the troop in as well, because the problem, of course, is if Shadam's got his ring, he kind of wants to use it. And if he uses it, then he's never getting involved in the conflict here. So suddenly second place is possible. I don't think this is a good move from Shadam. Because the problem is, if Shadam now... If I get second place, I'm going Deep Desert and taking the spice away from him. I think he's just got to go Deep Desert right now. I think that's... I think that's a very dangerous move. Like he's after the row, but he's now putting Deep Desert risk. If I get Deep Desert as well as the Hagger Base and Spice like this, it's, it's completely ludicrous. Amber's going Desert Tactics, right? What's happening here? Wow, this is pretty wild. Definitely playing Diplo. I'm just trying to work out where to send it. Desert Tactics, I can't do. Um, it doesn't make a whole ton of sense. I need to get. To, I need to make sure I'm at free water here. So I guess we just go. Beautiful. I don't really want to draw. Do I want to draw here? Is drawing ever useful? How many cards get me free out of? 11s, as if I buy anything. The odds are we probably get there. I think we just hit here, and we just take the harvest contract, and we, we play for this. If Shadam has given me Deep Desert, that is absolutely wild. 
He desperately wanted to get to High Council. He's got five. What's he doing with five here? Yeah, I think I think uh, Shadam has he could have made a better move there. And now the insane thing is we're also threatening to get the Swordmaster first as well, which is madness. Let's see what Amber's going to do here. She's got a lot of intrigues. She's got reinforcements. Has she got reinforcements and... No, 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 no. She's going to gather support. Does she have um, detonation? That's the concern. But I've got two daggers, so she can't ever... Um, she can't do a whole lot here. Do we go Sardaukar Soldier? Or do I just go Space Time Folding? Space Time Folding for the faction access just can't be bad. Just grab that. If she's got detonation to put troops in, I've got both daggers. So she can I don't think she can beat me. She can only have a tie. So unless something pretty wild happens. Make a keeper comes off is obviously a very, very strong card here. It should be most interesting to see what happens here. She Shackley comes off. Wow, this is pretty wild. I'm not complaining. I get why Shadam. I think I get why Shadam went high council, but I think he's miscalculated here, and he's re and now he's given away deep desert. It's uh, it's another um, worm conflict, by the way. But honestly, I don't really care. We're about to get like seven spice, and I'm about to cash in harvests harvest as well. So yeah, Gurney just has to do this. good times and now we're threatening highliner with space time folding well he had it he should have just should have just gone straight to um should have just gone straight to what he was doing i think uh you know miscalculated there i think so we're gonna have like 11 spice which is a pretty good place to be um, what we do beyond that, though, I've got to kind of work out. Am I ever going to a council spot? What do I want to do here? I've got to work out if I'm going to use calculus of power to, like, trash deep desert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Basically, what am I trying to go for the room? Am I trying to go for price and no objects, or am I going for Shackley? Because I'm going to be first to reveal here, because they've both got Swordmasters. That's the question. I've got to work out what am I after here. If I'm going for price, I need to not use Countless, and I'd have to draw off Arakeen. Don't have a ton of Fremen for Shishakli is the other problem. But Shishakli is more likely to happen, so I think we we hold on to This is really strong. I think we make a play for that. Yeah, price is really good. And the fact that this is nice, and just being able to buy cards and put them in your hand is obviously good, but Shishakli is also fine, so... We kind of see what happens here. <laughs> LNR contract, of course, yes. Which does synergize into that pretty decently. So this is kind of where it's a little funky. 
Well, I'm going to a combat space anyways, Randy, so whatever I do. So I don't need to put any troops in right now. I need to see if anyone's going to do anything outrageous. Obviously, it's a combat that would be nice to get involved in them, but we don't really need the spice. We could arguably stay away here. Besides, I think Shadam is eyeing up going for it at research station. He feels he's got to use the water. Um, I mean, it's coming. I don't hate it. I got no issues about it. I think it's fine. Um, you know, just playing base game would be fine as well. Like, I've got no issues about it at all. Uh, and, you know, with the competition they want to do, there's they, something they should definitely look to try and get involved in. How successful it may or may not be is another question. Okay. Yeah, High Council, I'm strongly considering. So I can go to Arakeen and draw. Problem is, I don't really want to. Do we just reveal? And just take Price of No Object here? No, I, forgot. I might as well go Assembly Hall. Yeah, this is not this is not one I want to draw a fleet on at all. So I feel like Assembly Hall is fine. I don't really want to spend the cash. I don't know. It's, it's, it's fine. Hardy Council is fine. Assembly Hall, I do like, though. I have no intrigues. Do I want to spend the money? I've got to make sure I get to Swordmaster next round. I think I think Assembly Hall is slightly better here for us. Especially if we're going for price. I want to keep hold of the money, so... It's good to know. Uh, do I want to shift any spies about? I don't think so. I mean, I also was thinking about taking the wall out but there's only one more wall conflict to come in the next couple of rounds maximum so i mean i'm in no rush and to be honest i don't really care if a wall comes next round because i'm threatening highliner so we can stay out of this shadam looks like he was going to get involved in this he was he was arming up for a for a fight so i can I mean, this is a good one to, to stay out of this Almost it does cost six, I know. But if I get high count, if I get high count, I'm at three. Price and object is two, not three, so I'd be at five, and I need to find a loose coin somewhere. Gurney, no surprise, just charging the Fremen Alliance. No shocks there. Amber was always going to take an action here. She was never re really revealing. So, pricing the object for us here, which is good. Are we grabbing hold of that. So, decent Fremen cards out there. Ecological, unswerving pairs of Shashakli quite nicely. Some good stuff out there. But our deck's looking pretty good. Calculus, Strike Fleet, um, Price is No Object. And whatever else it was that we bought. Something. I think we got a, a pretty attractive looking deck here. So, you know, we're, we're resource laden. <coughs> oh, space time, that's it. Space time is going to get us the highliners. Unfortunately, I've not been able to use Calculus yet. I kind of want to use it to do some trashing. 
Uh, also, Cantalus now pairs with Price of No Object for like a big last turn. Where I can actually like reveal Cantalus and then trash this for some swords. Shadam goes for Shishakli and Ecological. Desert Power turns up for Gurney, which is uncomfortable. That's really bad. I might be interested in keeping the uh, in keeping the wall up here. I don't think I want to give it to Gurney Howard. Not when he's to, not when um, you know Stilgar's out in his deck as well. There's a lot of very scary stuff going on. It might be in our interest to start blocking up Siege. And actually trying to keep the wall up. A lot of scary stuff going on. What we need is a pairing conflict here for us. That's what we desperately need. Is a, is a conflict that pairs so we can just hammer it in with Highliner. We've got spies everywhere for find weakness, which is great as well. So, Devour is played. So, just the two swords. That's another conflict card that goes. We're looking for, like, Diplo... like space time and like a dagger and to reveal strike fleet for some swords that's a good thing with strike fleet you don't have to play it revealing it is also just totally fine you don't need to play it it's like long live the fighters you also don't have to play it so we'll see what kind of happens here five out of seven we're drawing we'll, we'll suss this out You just, yeah, just buck off action spots. Makes sense to me. <coughs> I think he's trying to do the, the woe thing. Just, just do it manually. Well, while he's doing that, we'll move on. It is a matching conflict. Shadow Contest. That's actually a really, really good... Uh, that's a great conflict for us, actually. It's a bump we need. It's a match. No one else is really going to get involved here. This is a re that's actually pretty decent for us. Only person that can get Swordmaster is Shadam. And he's not going to be able to get it in time ahead of us. So we can kind of do whatever here. So what do we want to do? We've got two to draw. Interesting choices here. Deliver supplies is fine. Secrets is fine. Dutiful is... Okay. I'm just going to flip my hand over so we can't see it. Or do we just whack in a worm now and try and double dip out of us? Oh, wait, I don't have water. What am I talking about? So... So it's secrets. Fremkit's not the worst move, by the way. Fremkit forces Gurney to go desert tactics a lot. Which he doesn't really want to do right now. He might also not be able to do it. I don't think anyone else is going highliner here. I just can't see anyone else goes highliner here. And deliver supplies is slow. Dutiful's fine. 
I think we go Fremkit. And we put some pressure on, on uh, Gurney Halleck here. We try and tell him what does he want to do. He doesn't really want to go Desert Tactics right now. Because it's 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 not it's not a great ideal move for him right now. It is a little bit. Shadam goes Hagger Base and blocks it off anyways. It's because he wants to go shipping, that's why. So I'm kind of trying to force Gurney into a bit of an awkward spot. Oh, our deliver is totally fine, but I'm kind of trying to force Gurney's hand a bit here. I'm trying to make his life a bit awkward. If he doesn't have faction access, it's pretty uncomfortable for him. He's also about to commit a load of troops here. So I'm okay with this. Yeah, deliver's fine. But I just I just want to make I'm just trying to make his life a bit awkward here, because let's see what he's gonna do with Gurney and try and force him to make a decision. What is going on here? Why are people going so heavy for this? Jeepers. Well, we're gonna have to think a lot about what we want to, what we want to do in regards to how much we put in. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's awkward for him. He might not have it though. He could have any card. He was on a flat draw. If he has no faction access, it's all, it's he's in a bit of an awkward spot. So I'm just trying to make his life tricky. Also, the bump there is always potentially useful. Shadow Alliance is useful. We get change; it's useful. We get uh, the dropper bump. There's, there's, you know, having that third bump's not the worst. It means he also has to commit further to this alliance, which is slowing him down from taking bumps elsewhere. Because I'm signaling that I'm going to go for him. I'm also threatening stuff like buy access, seat ritual. There's a lot of intrigues that are of use to us here. Yeah, yellow wants the alliance, I guess. So how much am I going to commit here? Is the question. What's a good price? I can, I mean, like, if I want to win this fight, I can. And I can't be stopped from winning this. So, might not want to. Well, that's about to check. Well, that's still all right. Good thing we get to see what Amber does ahead of us. What's a good price to set, like, 12? Four troops, four daggers. I'd rather not use fine weakness. I feel like 12 is fine. Gurney is threatening Arakeen ring, though, which is pretty uncomfortable. Also, deep desert and just chucking it in. So, I probably have to just go all in. Yeah, he is threatening deep desert. I think we just have to put it all in here.
trying to find a way to make it cheaper, but I can't really... I can't really make it work. Yeah, ring. He did have it. But now it's tough for him. Yeah, so he just stays out, which is good. Yeah, is what it is. We can get water whenever we want. I think Gurney, if I hadn't have done that, I think Gurney was going in. So I think we had to commit heavy there. Like, he he was he had the hand to, good, to do it with. So I have no regrets with making the move. Um, free to buy. There's good cards everywhere. Watermaster's good. Operative is good. You know, I'm happy with either one. Wow. Reveals a six and doesn't do anything. That's pretty sick. Uh, any operative, please? How do you not take Benny operative there? Okay, I guess. Wild. Whatever. Well, we take it down. It was, you know, pricey, but it's fine. That's not the worst for us, actually. How are you going to do this? I don't know how this shit, this shit works. So, someone told me about this, and it's like, I'm not going to make it work, so I'm just dumping that. It's fine. Yeah, frame kit, I don't, frame kit's not a bad move. I think it was fine. They're like, the supplies is a, is a simpler move. Cheating Chandra, exactly. We'll be totally fine. We actually do pull Benny Operative immediately, which is pretty sick. Wow. Chum Security is the draw. Oh, man. Spies are getting a little bit stuck. There's not a ton I can do about that. I think we now have to go deliver supplies now, right? Or I could go frem kit again and just put even more pressure on desert tactics. Hmm. I might also just play reinforcements right now and see what we draw. Let's, let's do that. Just play it now. So we pick up. Respin it. Get some more information. Okay. That's good to have in the back pocket. So the interesting thing here is if we go Frem Kit, it stops Skurney from getting to, de to Deep Desert. And it gives us the border. Like he has to, he has to free defend desert tactics, which means he can't go deep desert, or he's got to go shipping. And again, it's making waste time. I don't know. If I've got space time folding, well, I think we can get the spacing bump regardless. Benny bump, I think's fine. The emperor is a bit questionable. If I go deliver supplies, how often do I get to shipping? I think enough of the time. I think it's worth it. I guess I've got to try and secure these these bumps. I'm also now also threatening shipping as well, which is still not pleasant for him. And he kind of can't really sit on full persuasion on this alliance anyways. It's it's not very comfortable for Green. So <coughs> again, now we're threatening Hagger Basin, of course. You know, we've we've some options. So it's kind of a case of kind of seeing what happens here at the moment. Just like it's a bit of a holding move. Also bear in mind we can ship 
and take the ferment pop and get more water. Um, we have got prices no object for Emperor as well. So we do have cards that get us to everywhere we need to. In theory. So we're kind of, you know, jousting a bit. Only two hooks out there. Obviously, this is a very strong conflict for having hooks. Charm security. It's a fight Gurney wants to win, of course. I think he has to go hooks or Fremen. I don't think he can go shipping. I suspect Amber will. Yeah. You definitely can't do... Oh, no, you're green, aren't you? Sorry, my bad. Ignore me. I thought he was yellow for a second. <laughs> I just blanked. So... Deep Desert is coming. He's going to make a play for it. That's what I would like to do. The problem is we have to get a worm to get the double water. So. Yeah, that's what I expected. Uh, do I just go secrets? Secrets is totally fine. Especially if he doesn't use anything. Yeah, it tells a story. I don't think you have to guarantee that. You have to go secrets, right? And just see what happens. Yeah, I think so. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? There's a lot of intrigues that that fur bump lingering there are pretty good for. No! Atomics! That's not a surprise. So we've just got to work out what's the best move, what's the best time to pull this move. Like I, we are, we're gonna pull the spacing bump and have at it. I've just got to work out what's. If we just go accept contract here, highliner water contract looks pretty juicy right now. Or we could just go imperial basin and limp in. This is what we want. We could still even potentially win this fight. Oh, 
Highlander sets us up for an apt, except contract sets us up for an absolutely insane next round, though. The problem is, if we... I, mean, I guess I have to just worm it in a hagger, right? I can't let Gurney go there. Do I care if Gurney goes Hagger Basin? Like, if he Hagger Basins, we could potentially just outright win the fight. But it's not matching for it. It's kind of a it's really strange to spot this. Like, Hagger Basin's the obvious move. But we don't have to go Hagger Basin to get the worm. Like, we can change allegiance to get uh, the alliance and then use that to use unexpected allies to get a worm in. Which makes this set contract less juicy. Imperial Spy. Imperial Basin would give Gurney a fifth spice, which is kind of funky. The problem is, that gives him higher options next round. I don't really want to do that. If um, Is Gurney Halleck going to Deep Desert if I go Hagger Base is the question? I think the answer is probably. But I guess it makes him spend his water, so I guess we'll just... We'll just do it and chuck him in and see what happens. But that wasn't, it wasn't... There were options to consider. The Hagger Basin's fine. And going for like the highline of the water contract's also pretty good. Like we had we had several decent options there. <coughs> but we have chances potentially even like trying to harass, trying to win this. So it's kind of a bit of a strange spot. Also, I've got to work out if I'm going to use change allegiances for the Fremen Alliance, what I what I use it for. That's also a, a, a valid valid question. I was going to just use it on the spacing gear if we we're going to get the point back, but if we're going to go for it, then I should hold on to the bump. So... The problem is, is if I win the combat, it's really hard to get unexpected allies actually physically off. Apart from except contract highliner, specifically, which I might not even draw the access to. So it's kind of a weird sort of spot. That's bad for us. Oh, I guess, though, if I win it, I get the actual contract, don't I? That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I, I just... I've been sick, guys, all right? I didn't even think about yeah getting the Highland contract through the combat. I didn't even think about that. Gurney can't stay out of this. There's no way. There's no way he stays out of this. He protects the Frem kit, which is good for us. Now we can actually change allegiance to something else. <laughs> Poison Snooper. I think I got hit by that. That's what happened. 
Usually I, I recognize the contract taken, but it's weird that we're in a spot where it actually would be kind of useful. So now we're going to shift away from the Fremen. Where do I take the bumps with? Emperor, I guess? They're not going to let me win this conflict. Surely not. That seems absolutely preposterous. I think we do take B spoils as a Emperor trash. I'm just trying to think what to do here. We, we, we go for Emperor Alliance. I think we go for Emperor Alliance. This is kind of greedy, I guess, but I think it's workable. Let's take the double bump there. So we get this for trashing with a uh, thingy later on. Yeah, we have the best comp. We have a really good intrigue for this, obviously, given the situation. I guess I'd probably be sacking off the Arakeen Spy. I could sack off the Hagger Basin Spy, actually. I don't really need it anymore. I don't think I'm ever going Hagger Basin at this point. Uh, the point of playing it was to do it. I guess I didn't need to. Oh, yeah, Desert Power. So he was going to get the worm in that way. Forgot about that. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to do it right now. I just, in my mind, I just got to do it. I don't know. Yeah, freaking Desert Power is such a strong card. It's absolutely insane how good that is. So we have to we have to fight for this. Yeah, we don't we don't need uh, Hagger Base anymore. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, a bit early. My bad. Let's see. See, uh, that's, again, being sick sucks. Well, if, I'm hoping that's yeah. That was a bit early. I I, I thought he revealed. Thought he revealed. I don't think it would have made a difference to this, though. That was a bit early for me. Oops. We do take it down. I think it was worth doing that, making the pump for it. Okay, so... Gives us the money for this. A couple of troops. Let's grab the water contract. I guess we'll take research station. I might change my plans in regards to unexpected. We'll see. Okay. Here we go then. Kind of need to get this game closed out here. Arakeen it is, which is vacant, which is fascinating. We do pull Strike Fleet. Price not object is also there. So, we've got not bad access. I can't complain. Strike Fleet is threatening putting in just straight 10 troops into the conflict. The question is, can Gurney Halleck get to walk to Highlander before us? And two water as well. It's absolutely cooked. Interesting to see how this goes down here. It's also pretty clear that Gurney doesn't have a battle intrigue. Otherwise, he would have played it there, surely. I mean, not necessarily, but he had a chance for an alliance. I think he would have had to kind of go for it. So we just need to find three points. Which isn't easy here. We basically have to commit ourselves to winning the fight. Yeah, that's that's an automatic move. He has to go there to try and stop us getting to to that. Makes logical sense. <coughs> I was never. We would never get into Emperor. I was pretty sure Red was going to block it. He feels he has to. Yeah, I didn't need to do the shift so early. That was a bit of a mistake. 
it's like whatever. I think we just have to shut our eyes and go all in for the combat, right? Yeah, I was looking at that line. Using price to actually grab covert. The problem is I have to use it. Do we go out of keen and just and just draw dub double cards? We could also just try and but Hannah, it's kind of a bit of a weird one, Ike. Do I actually think I can win this fight is the question. I feel like I kind of need a little bit more to feel like I can win it. Uh, Arakeen now is fine. I know I, I basically have to commit myself. It's just I kind of don't want to be in this spot. I guess I have to highline and hope that Gurney does not have access to get there. Because he has drawn a load of cards, so I guess we just get stuck in here. We draw anyways. Yeah, let's go. Let's just do it. Uh, just dump him in. It's pretty insane. Just, just here's ten troops. In you go. That's pretty wild. space time folding off of it which is you know so be it two three four five six so we've got plus three strength come we need as much strength as possible is the thing it's still not easy for us to to win this. I feel like we have to go Arakeen. We can't let we cannot let uh Gurney get there. Which makes me not want to use the spy. Cause he might have the cert the intrigue put in a spa on a city. Which would let him get into Arakeen. It's imperative we do not let him get there. So much so that I'm happy to not spend the spy. The spy is not really helping us a ton here. But we also have to get the secrets in theory for price. I don't think anyone's going secrets here though. Like Shinan might. But I don't think I don't think anyone's going to secrets that often here. Also, if I'm not going to Arakeen, I can just put a spy down with the signet ring elsewhere and not worry about it. So, I think I'm going to do that. I am concerned that that's what Gurney's got. So, I'm actually going to do it that way and just save the spy. I, I don't think we, I don't think we need to call the spy from Arakeen. So, we'll just, we'll just hold it off and just uh, go normally. And we'll whack it that there. We're threatening research station. We're threatening all sorts of stuff here. Just gives us some options. But it was important for Sky Arakeen. I think we just have to leave the spy there and just leave him absolutely no way to get it off. Given how important this conflict is. I think it's imperative if we do it. He's got no water. He can't go desert tactics. He's got no real way of end of getting any more combat strength. He might go secret. If he does, it's like we've got the two spies. Research doesn't help us a lot is the problem. Because we have to spend a spy to do it. So I've got like two moves. 
That's about it. He's trying to work out what my uh, my potential deck is here. I don't really know what he's looking for. We were thinking, well, I don't really need to play it now. The, I, people were thinking, go get Covert Operation for the Spies. But I've made the defense Arakeen, so I don't need to really play this anymore. But we might as well go Secrets and maybe even just buy Double Agent for a sword here. What other moves have we got here? Deliver Supplies does nothing. Um, Imperial, Imperial Privilege isn't really doing anything. But Imperial Privilege I could do, but I need the daggers. Like, what am I looking for here? And I'm not trading off of this. Unless there's a space I want to re-hit. Like, we could go Imperial Privilege to re-hit Arakeen. That's about it. And that would double draw us. But the problem is... Oh, Amber's revealed. Oh, Amber revealed early. Oh, she had nowhere to go. Oh, when well, we have to go... We have to go Arakeen. Yeah, we, that, that, yeah that, we, that makes total sense. Everyone's revealed. No one's got any more actions. So, yeah, we, we now absolutely do this so we can go Arakeen again. We pull our other dagger anyways. It gets our last troop in as well. I don't expect to hit uh, Spice's Flow here. I think it's pretty impossible. But the fact that no one had any actions, yeah, suddenly means that we can actually really hit this. Otherwise, I don't think I really ever do that. Well, no, no one's taking Covert Opera. Well, yeah, that's true. I, now I can't use that. I don't know what our last card is. Is it Calculus? Our last card is Calculus. So that is the extra swords. So, yeah, we just do it this way. So troops in. Man, this has been a, a wild old turn. So now we reveal. We get a sword. We get a couple of coins. We trash that for three swords. And then we play that for the worm. And that gets us there. I think that is, that is going to do the job here. I don't think he can stop us anymore. Doesn't look like it. Just the two swords. If he can beat us, he can beat us. But I don't think he can. I think he's got endgame. I mean, that's going to do the job here. Looks like it's going to do the job. Good stuff. Yeah, the, the, the other review from Amber made Arakeen happen. I don't know if I was going to win outside of that. Yeah, no worries. It was endgame. Oh, he had a uh, Chris knife. That's why he went for it. Makes sense. Yeah, what a what a fun round. Yeah, that what the, the Highliner contract was definitely gonna be what this came down to, no doubt about that. Yeah, Amber didn't have anywhere near enough strength to, to get involved here. And then it was endgame. Oh yeah, Shadow Alliance did red. Fair enough then. Yeah, that was that was a pretty wild finish. I mean, you know, as I say, if you if the strike flee and just getting all the troops in, yeah, double hitting Arakeen like that, it's Really, really unusual play, but yeah, the moment that there was no other actions allowed us to go for that and get calculus and get plus six. I did tell you, I think that that sword reveal was going to be useful. <coughs> so uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Oh yeah, Lenny, same yeah, casting the, uh, the, the the game. I'll be up hopefully in the next couple of days. Yeah. But we definitely... I think what was interesting about this game is that uh, we had a few different lines we could take. 
I mean, that was the one thing that was nice about this game. We had we had different options available to us. Um, we were pretty aggressive in this game as well. Like, round two, we, like, purposely tied the Emperor here to stop and let him, like, get a load of privilege abuse, stuff like that. Um, shot of it was always going to be big somewhere. And, yeah, pulling it here was obviously enormous. Hmm. I mean, I don't think she's any worse than anywhere else. Uh, didn't get as much use out of beast spoils. The plan was to, like, beast spoils with Strike Fleet. That was kind of the plan, but also just doing it this way was also pretty acceptable as well. Um, I think what really was, um, what was, I think was really strong, the fact that we got access to both Hagger Base and Deep Desert, and both are set to their spice, and we were sitting like 11 spice, that was always going to mean that we could just charge Highliner with our second access card, and also Strike Fleet later on as well. Um, and we're always threatening Highliners, and we're just throwing tons of troops at things, and I think that's really And we have swords dotted about as well. We didn't have a lot of intrigues. I mean, obviously, this was huge. Fire Weakness was very big, and that allowed us to, you know, threaten some stuff. We had Mercs. And then Weirding at the start there. So, you know, out of the five intrigues we pulled, they were all pretty decent. I can't really complain on, on that sort of front. Um, but yeah, we just had the, the weight of numbers, you know, straight fleet highliner, just whacking 10 troops is gonna, we still needed to find a bit of extra, which is what I thought, but yeah, the Arakeen re-hit there, um, to get Calculus to trash that for some swords was, was pretty wild. I wouldn't go as far as S tiers, I mean, this is very strong. Five weakness is good because we had loads of spies lying about, it was good for us, weirding's fine, mercenaries is fine. And change allegiances can be pretty good, but it's also expensive. It didn't actually do anything for us in the end. We never even got the alliance. So this didn't really do a whole lot for us. Um, you know, it got us a point, I guess, but it was never going to be a huge deal. We'll take it. <coughs> I do find that as I'm playing Margot, like it, as I've as mentioned before, like Margot, she is decent. I don't hugely enjoy using it. I don't want to use Margo in a way where I'm just like spamming Arakeen the whole time. I mean, we didn't really go to Arakeen much this game. I think she's interesting to do and like to be threatening stuff like that. You don't have to be hitting here all the damn time. Um, you know, we've seen before, like, I think if she doesn't get the spy there, that can be a bit tricky. So, but I can't really complain. Uh, I had, like, I was on the plus 20s. I had, like, 30 strength. Oh, this one. Um, no, I had, uh, I had fine weakness. I think at the time, didn't I? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But it's hard for you to use fine weak. It's a, just spices powerless. I don't think you can really do that a lot. It's 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 a it's a hard to do if you if you do it and you're wrong like that feels really bad. I don't know. Anyways, we'll have a uh, we'll have another game I suppose. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyways, good game though. I'm not entirely sure. We'd have to uh, have to have a look. I don't know if I played it to get in front. I don't think I did, no. Because I had the... Um... Didn't I do that? I, I don't recall. I can't really remember the, the... I can't remember the match anymore. It's been a while. Anyways, we'll continue on the journey. Next up, we're off to this one in the in over in Macedonia. It's a new one. That was, I think, hand brace, I think is what did that. I think I pressed something not good. <laughs> I can't even quite remember when we used, what we used it on. Did we use it on the conflict? Yeah, we did use it on the conflict because um, Gurney put in the extra troops with Unswerving and his daggers, and then we went over the top with that and then got there. Sounds about right. Where in the 
Hmm, something's gone horribly wrong here. I think something weird's gone wrong with the lobby here. <coughs> I think I'm just going to reboot here. Give me one second. Let me just... Uh... I'm just going to reboot TTS here. Something slightly strange is going on. <coughs> It'll be the day when I freaking stop coughing. It'll be a good day. Looks like the game did go down. Try this again. Ugh, gosh. We'll sit over here, I guess. There's no... I need a... Uh... Ooh, there's some weird stuff going on. Right. Uh-oh. There we go. You saw him in the end. Very good. Joined by Toma, Fugo, and the Mongoose. If that is their real names. Yeah, no worries at it. We were, we, you know, I had to, had to make things work in that last round, but we had options, which was good. Okay, fourth position for us. We are running on the daggers. Uh, deliver supplies, spice of firing. Both not bad opening contracts. Both pretty solid. Pet Spectacle is obviously a very standout card. Arrakis Revolt is very strong, though. Potentially, Arrakis Revolt is a really, really powerful card. Um, I still think does it powers a little better, but Revolt's still pretty solid. Double Agent's also not a bad card, by the way. I quite like this card. Uh, as for leaders, no Gurney and no... Who else are we missing? No Staban. Fade's alright. Irulan. It's okay here. Fade's kind of like nun ish committal. Obviously, I'm threatening public spectacle as well. I think we have to take Fade. I think we have to take Fade and give ourselves potential of revealing early round one for Spectacle. Obviously, Spectacle and Fade is, is potentially pretty juicy. So I think we have to give ourselves options. I think that's what it's about in this game. I think that's kind of where I'm, I'm at with, with Uprising. I think it's about giving yourself options. Sometimes there's just one thing to do and you just got to go for it. But I think sometimes you have to, you know, give yourself some choices. And Fade is kind of like, again, not a huge commitment. So Margot revealed. Oh, Margot is obviously the other choice. So we'll kind of see what... We'll keep an eye on blue. See what happens. Here I'm taking him first. Wadib second. Skirmish. Uh, it's the sword here. So that is there. Obviously, they're both just going to go immediately all in. We pull a pretty bad hand. Mm. 
and pull a very unfortunate hand here. I don't think I could consciously just insta reveal. It is tempting. It's a hideous hand. It's about as bad as it gets. I mean, if ever there was a candidate for doing it, I guess it's now. Crazy game, right? It's that bad, yeah. I think if there's ever a candidate to just reveal instantly, I guess we just do it. Also, I think it's fairly likely Margo reveals as well. But this is, this is about as bad as it gets for us. So I'm just going to do it, and we're going to see where we go. Like, my options was, like, Assembly Hall. If I go accept Contract, I probably have to play the second card. Um, or we go, like, Hagger Basin and just reveal. Like, there's no... There's nothing great for us. We're never winning the conflict. I don't think there's much else we can do there. I think we just we just do this and move on. I also think it was reasonably likely Margot was gonna just straight reveal as well. I think if you take an action, we don't even get spectacle. And then where are we at this game? See what our hand strength was. Iraq is revolt immediately for ear alarm. I do. There's that's the way it goes. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, of course, but I don't I, I don't think we have the options here. It's fine. We can we can get we've got public spectacles, we don't need to keep seek allies. It'd be nice to play them, but Spectacle is going to give us the value over the course of the game. So we can afford to just, just reveal here. That's six. Might be able to get away with an action, but I don't think it was worth risking. If we take an action and then lose it, like we're in so much trouble here. This keeps us in the game. I've never insta-revealed round one. I've yet, I think this might be the first time I've ever seen it as well, so... Um, so we want to get to Espionage. Uh, we're going to have to play Ring to Espionage. That's mandatory. Probably just go, like, Hagger Basin. I think he goes, I think he goes there anyways. I don't know if he's got access to Siege. So I think we just hit a mind spot. We spy up espionage and we use espionage and public spectacle and we just keep rinsing and repeating. It's not the most interesting strategy, but I think it's basically kind of where we're at here. Do I ever espionage now? Not really. We just go Imperial Basin. I think Basin's fine. What is interesting? I think I'd rather hold on to the water. Could also just go desert tactics ourselves and trash the dagger. I also don't hate that. Hmm. If because Irulan's going there, if I don't go there, so I I think I think we go here. We make the block. 
It slows your alarm down. We get three troops in. And if we get two water, great. Like, second, first or second here, both are good for us. I think it's important to get in front of your alarm here. Well, you seek allies because we've got spectacle. We're not really ever getting to base in here, but it's fine. Yeah, Marga's trying to see what's going on here. I have got a dagger. I, I've, I've got the dagger. I've got the dagger. And Emma Ring is also here. He's eyeing up uh, a potential research station blast off. Yeah, I think Irulan goes Hagger Basin because she can't get to Thingy. Mardip has to go there, that's obvious. Oh, she re pulled, uh, she re -pulled that, okay. It's pretty unlucky. If she's got that, it's fine. But second place is also good. She has to commit everything, kind of thing. So I've got this work. I kind of work out what what the priority is here. If I want to get involved, base in round two is pretty good. It's going to generate some spice for us over the course of the game. Am I willing to just spend the spy up here to win this? Could go assembly hall, maybe. Assembly hall is fine. Um. Secret is fine. I feel like we have to use the spy, though. Because Margot wants to get to... She obviously wants to get to Espionard, so I think we have to use the Signet Ring. I think we go Assembly Hall. We might fluke something good here. It's not actually that bad. It's actually pretty good. That's pretty useful. Your alarm wasn't getting any more here. So we'll kind of... Work this out as we go. Interesting. I didn't know it actually. Uh, I've never seen the scripting for that before. So we know Irulan's got double daggers, right? Or did she trash one? I know she made a trash. She did get rid of a dagger. Okay, so we can actually trash our dagger. We can discard our dagger for Siege. And hope that we get our way to Siege Ritual. I wish people wouldn't do that so freely because it just reveals everyone's decks. I mean, I know I'm just going to play my card, but, you know. Now I know that Red, yet Margot's got some kind of red card. You know. So what are you going to do? that bump and we got four branching path looks pretty decent yeah I think branch paths a decent pick make keep is also fine I just want faction access 
This gives the chance to like espionage, put spies about, and then even public spectacle them elsewhere. I mean, I think we go for it. I generally, I'm not the biggest fan of Branching Path. It's a card I want to like more than I do. But it's a card we can try and play around here, so. So we'll kind of see how this plays out. So assuming we draw city access, we will get the ability to threaten Deep Desert. Although, assumably, Margo will get there ahead of us. That's our draw. Wow. Okay. That is our draw. It's a little unfortunate, actually. It's actually a pretty unfortunate draw that we've pulled it now. Can't do much about this. Just to see what Margot does here. Spice phrase is the combat which is you know it's not bad margo's got a few options the odds of getting to a position where they don't play any of them is incredibly unlikely so just in case of deciding what they want to pull Margot is early favourite this game, by the way. No question. We might just have to reveal Spectacle. Yep. Research Station it is. They're just going to fire all in here. I think we have to go Imperial Basin and stop her from ever getting anywhere near this third spice. I don't think we can allow it. Although saying that, she's now given up the water for Deep Desert. So we just we just Deep Desert and just chuck it all in, right? I can't get anything off of the, the paying for the bumps, but I was never going to anyways. The bumps are good enough. And we just reveal Spectacle for a spy if we need it. Looks good to me. Uh, won't be needing this. We can get rid of one of those, I think. It's a matching comment for us as well, so... We can basically just show, choose to fire whatever we want here. If we put in 12 strength, do we win? Well, Margaret would have to do something to stop us. We have options. We have options. We get to see what Margot does, basically. Margot's got some kind of combat card. We know it from the reveal. I didn't see what it was, but I saw it was red. And I'm obviously threatening Deep Desert, like, just absolutely plowing it in. But yeah. That's pretty sick, you Reaper Rebel Supplier. So. We're not threatening Deep Desert. So she's got to decide if they want to go in, they have to go all in. So 
So now we just go uh, secrets and we just um, pull it and take the bump with Watts. What do we want to take the bump? Uh, just double hits, just jam Spenny, uh, Spenny Alliance. Seems good to me. Manipulate's pull. That's actually not bad. Do I want to manipulate anything right now? I think manipulating Maker Keeper is important. I want to keep that away from Margot. We have to kind of commit for the space for the bench as well, especially with branching in hand. I don't know if Mardi's gonna go over that is gonna go over us here. He might. If he does, it's like whatever. But we're threatening deep desert worms. We're threatening deep desert highliner. You know. I think it's important for us to get make keep out there because, of course, we've got full value of it. We, 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 with this is this is totally online, so it's a very good card for us to get hold of. Especially as I've trashed a uh, convincing, we need to rely a lot on agent boxes and stuff to kind of get us through here. Of course, if Marvel just keeps getting Signet Ring, um, Rebel Supplier every round, then they're just going to win the game. So, you know. He is going to go over the top, I imagine. It's like the old rank days of your. Everyone must look at everyone else's discard pile. Depends if he wants to spend a treat for a spice. I don't think he should. I mean, he should hold on to it. Seems seems smoother to me. But if Margot's got like a retreat style intrigue, we'll know. Public Spectacle 2 comes off, by the way, which is pretty wild. We can't get it, unfortunately. So we just pick up uh, that. We're actually a little bit unlucky. We drew our dagger. We could have got both spectacles, but. What are you going to do? Irulan will get it instead. But I will say, it's looking very difficult to see how we're going to win this this match. We, we need Spectacle to do like a ton of value, which is going to be hard to, 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 to really see. The thing is, if we pull a Diplomacy card, like, I think we have to Espionage immediately. But it's hard, though. Irulan's going to get the water, so... I think I have to give up the Espionage Spy. Um... You know... We'll see what the next conflict is, and we'll work it out from there. It's a shame to give up FC and Arge, but what are you going to do? Spice's power. That's pretty sick. Margot Fenring is massive favourite this game. That is absolutely absurd. Absolutely massive favourite.
unless they try to do anything to stop her, I don't. I don't think this. This. It seems to be only. You know, it's gonna be very hard to try and win this because they're on our right. We can't do much about. It. She's gonna go for this alliance as well, so she's going espionage. Tesla Law is up. We have to absolutely pile in here. We pull Spectacle again. It's kind of funny. So we just just chuck it in here. Uh, do we put in both? I think we put in both. This is too important for us. We need the resources, the spies, the bumps. It's all good for us. Well, I'm glad Ir I'm glad that Irulan went there and not Margot. Okay, I'm okay with I'm totally down with that. Yep. Obvious move is obvious. The good thing is, spectacle, like we can always even use the spy we generate from this to add to our combat strength, which is always good. I think Wardy will I don't know if he'll get involved. He's gonna commit himself to this. I don't think that's a wise option, but sure. Yep. Margo's just going to keep doing the same thing again and again. Might as well. We get the secrets at least, which is good. And I think we should go secrets. I think we have to commit ourselves to this Benny Alliance and just shut our eyes on it. Um, Little supplies, water. Could do. We have to. We have to commit to this alliance. We've got to. We just got to shut our eyes and go for it. That's actually a pretty good uh, intrigue for us here. That actually turns this into a point. But we have to commit ourselves to Bene Gesture. I, I, I don't see how we, we win this game if we don't win Bene Gesture Alliance. It's going to be under pressure, but I think we have to just go for it. We spend the spy. If Margot's got thingy, like our game ends. If she's got it, she's got it, I guess, right? Like what the hell are you gonna do? Four to buy isn't great here. But I've got the intrigue, so uh did we buy a prepare? We did buy a prepare, we got eleven. I mean, if Margo gets in, like, Signet Ring, Rebel Supply three rounds in a row, along with Spice's power, like, you just win the match at that point, I guess. And you just kind of shrug your arms and say, what are you going to do? It wasn't meant to be. If Mardi flukes a battle intrigue and beats us as well, like, what are you going to do? We just got to roll some dice. She didn't have it. So either we get that or we don't. Oh, he flew to. Oh no, he got to go to ground. Okay. 
did flick something you could use though, so. Okay, so let's sort ourselves out then. Where are these spies going is the question. Do we just hit these? I think one goes there for sure. I think one has to go here. So we can get try and get to our sword master. Looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. So immediate disaster averted. So now we just gotta suss it out. Shadow Contest is next. That is not good. That is not good at all. That is the one thing I did not want to see. Was that. We're in a lot of trouble here. That's actually good for us. That means that the spy goes on Arakeen now. And now Margot can't put it back on there. That actually does us a favor. That's going to hinder Margot a little bit here. She uses it. She can't put it back. So that's kind of handy. What were we taking in regards to our track here? We don't need more spies, so I guess we just take the top, top route and trash like the like our diplo like the dune or something. No, we'd probably trash recon, I think. That's not the question I was asking. I feel like I feel like the trash routes can be make more sense here. Yeah. We got one card to draw, which is what? Is that other dagger? No. One, two, four, five, six. Is there other doom cut? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. It's something we've bought. And I can't remember. Is that what it is? Oh, it was that. That was the card. Right. We're never gonna be able to use it, so there's no need to bother drawing it. So we can we don't need to we basically I'm trying to work it as whether to play prepare the way or not. It's optional, you don't have to. Although if you're gonna put a worm in, you absolutely must break a wall because you can't have a worm without without the wall. Oh, well in that case, yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. Irulan's going to go all in here. This is just... We're in a really horrible spot, basically. Um, where everything we do is awkward. We have to max out the Bene Gesserit Alliance, basically. Um, that's just where we're at in this one. Oh, 
horror spot for us here. <coughs> horror spot for us, this one. Um, and I know I have to max out the Alliance. The problem is I don't know if I can max out the Alliance quickly enough. But I know I have to. Captured Mentat turns out on the row here. Unfortunately, I can't do a lot about it. So let's just 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 get this. Like I do want it. Overthrow comes out, yeah. Like it's it's a race it's a race to six. It's a race to six. I know that. I might just reveal here. Might just reveal for Captured Mentat. Such a good card. Might just reveal. Margot's going to put in troops here, surely. I assume off Imperial Basin or something. Okay. Maybe not. So the only move we'd have is Imperial Base. It's the only thing we could do. Which is not worth it. So let's just grab let's just grab this and call it a day. <coughs> Can I beat Irulan to this alliance? Depends on what I draw. We can beat her to it. And we have to beat her to it. Like, if we don't get the Benedict Alliance, we lose. It's as simple as that. I, I do not see how we can realistically win without it. Kind of hitched our, our boat to it. This coming out is a complete disaster, though. Like, this is such a bad combat for us. The absolute worst. I cannot believe that came out. Absolutely ridiculous. So, basically, it's just good luck us. It's just good luck us. We just, we need to pull public spectacle. And we need to, like, basically draw double access this round. You know, I've got five freaking intrigues, for goodness sakes. What in the heck? Sitch Ritual is out. We pull one of them. We pull one of them. This is absolutely ridiculous, this, isn't it? It's pretty much where we're at. We have to just, we have to just do that. I suspect Margot... Is Margot going ahead of us? I don't know. That we are going to get in front of your alarm. And Seat Trifles... The main thing is, is Seat Trifles out. The fact that we had Seat Trifles makes us... A, makes things a lot easier because that's just a, basically a free bump. She doesn't have money for buy access. Um, if she's got change allegiances, then you know she just goes base and then we just lose. And it's one card. And it's like, what do you do? If, you, if they got it, they got it. I really want to hit secrets and just steal intrigues from everyone, but it is more important to get to espionage here. Of 
Question is, is Margot going there ahead of us? I can't see how she ever is. Yeah. So. Espionage and we'll see what happens. Margot's got another retreat intrigue. Are you kidding me? It's pretty insane, isn't it? Oh, we pull it. Oh my god, we actually found it as well. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. We actually hit it. So, we basically just got to rely on Irulan not having change allegiances. If she's got it, um, you know. Regimentat's also pretty useful to have in the back pocket. I'd rather try to use it, of course. If we get out of this, we're very fortunate. Bear in mind as well, bear in mind we've got um, Branching Path, whatever it's called. Oh, she had her um, her public spectacle. Wow. Uh, so bear in mind that, of course, that means that uh, that is spend an intrigue to regenerate an intrigue and two spice. It's, it's, it's not bad. She has to do this. Yeah. How far deep didn't blow the wall there? I don't know. See what Mwadib does here. Can he empty his hand? Surely if he can, he has to. He doesn't really want to. Maybe not, but he's got no choice, surely. He has to empty his hand if he can. Oh, he had changed allegiances. Wow. Oh, he's used that to take the, the Fremen Alliance back. Oh, no. He just needs it just for water. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That's just to protect his hand. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so we have a decision to make here. We could wait for branching next round. To cement the alliance. We go ahead of Irulan. Irulan has overthrow threatening. But unless she has a way of generating a spy at the Bene Gesserit, Like she can't. And I don't think there's any way she can get the spy there. So I think we are safe to wait for next round. Which means I kind of want to get money together for captured Mentat to play it. Branches is it? It's five, five droids. A guaranteed draw. Assuming I don't draw. The problem is we go catch a Mentat, I do draw twice. But then I've got my big spectacle and diplo. Like I've got decent options. So The only way to get money would be to go spice refinery. Which I could do with make a keeper. And Spice Refinery keeps money away from Irulan, which is also important here. We need to keep her um, low on money. So I think we do do it. Yeah. Like, buy axes is still a threat. A high council is still a threat. So we need to keep money away from her. She doesn't have shipping access.
She's not guaranteed to get the liver supplies. I think this is an important block. Also put the truth in this barrel. Because the garrison's empty. <coughs> yeah, I think it was a likely move for her to go spice refinery and start doing stuff from there. Market opportunity is also a scary thing, but you know, she's it's like whatever. Okay, so she's got she's got stuff. Okay, that's fine. I think we have to charge the price regardless. She has she has battle intrigues. I think she's got contingency. So what is a risk of drawing branching path? I think we've got enough factions in our hand. I think we can justify going Imperial Privilege here. We just get so much value. So much value. For going Imperial... Yeah, Capture Menta Imperial Privilege is just laden with resources. And I can always just go to secrets anyway, so. So it's uh, a discard for a draw. We don't need the dagger anymore. We don't pick it up. We pick up an intrigue. I might ditch the part for Arrakis here, just to redraw. I don't think it's doing a ton for us. Strategic pot pilings, I can get value out of. Yeah, let's get rid of this. It's not helping us right now. That by Choam is trash for branching. Uh, what do we want to pick up our... It doesn't matter we pick it up from, actually. Um, pick it up from here. It doesn't really matter where we pick it up from. Yeah, she's a is always pretty good. She had plus three swords. That's fine. And now we can just like Diplo something. Diplo deliver supplies. Seems fine. We have eight persuasion. Yeah, make a keeper is going to help us get there as well. So, you know, I've got to find the bump. The Fremen, which would be a little tricky. We could go Dutiful. So if I eat... Oh no, it's branching, isn't it? So Dutiful sets up getting the bump with Public Spectacle. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting spot we find ourselves. Deliver supplies, though, just gets me research station chances, right? Dutiful, I'd be going for, what, Arakeen contract, I guess? Never getting Sardu car. And it helps with that. It's got to be deliver supplies. It's just got to be the correct move here. Uh, we do not want to recall. Let me reveal for seven. Dungeon Headquarters is there, but we're never going to get it. In high places. Oh my gosh. We have to go for that, right? I think we have to go for that. Um, and that spy can just go... Wherever is going to be annoying for people. Let's put it on the that spot to threaten getting that later. Um, and that gives us a chance for us to stop piling. Seems good to me. <coughs> How much does Mardeep want to pull back here? Still not easy for us to win this game. I feel like we need to find a, like another alliance.
We'll see. So back by Trump's going to get sacked. Like, Margot is still big favourite in this match. We've done decently well to keep us, like, in this. But I I, I, I suspect Margot is just going to go for uh, Uncontested VP here and just kind of see this out. Pure Basin it is. Okay. So in high places, is it a card we ever want to, to use? Or we just reveal for Spice Must Flow, right? Probably. Bear in mind we've got our ring coming as well, which gives us troop and spy potential as well. Uh branching research station with our with our uh, spy. Overthrow is coming, so obviously we have to go espionage. I'm just trying to work out where we want to put the spy. Research station looks fine. Um, let's just do this first. So we will... Trash that for another intrigue. Empty spice. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's actually use it, I think. So that's a couple more cards. Yeah, Branchy gives spice as well. There's spectacle. I don't think it really matters with this. So basically what I want to do is put the spy wherever it's most awkward. And I feel like a good place to put the spy is going to be council. Let's just whack it there. We're not likely to use it. Very hard for us to get. I, I expect it. I mean, we could do, but it's more important. To, we've got to get uh, strategic stockpiling is more important here. It's very hard for to get the overthrow to get that because zero has got overthrow. It's very hard to get the. Um, it's very hard to get the Emperor Alliance. I think that's getting a bit greedy. This also gives us the chance to like even go Imperial Privilege with captured Mentat and stuff. How much inferior provision do we have? One, two, four, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If we rip the two spies off. But we know Irulan's got overthrow in her hand. I know she's got it, so. But she's been under pressure at the Emperor, the Fremen as well, so. We have, a, we have a few options. Or we can do, do it via deliver supplies. Deliver supplies seems better. Or we hit this with privilege. We don't have to go privilege right now. Irulan also wants to go to deliver supplies as well. I think Spectacle to deliver supplies gives us a water and the Fremen bump. We can't stop Irulan with the Emperor Alliance. It's impossible. So I'm not even going to bother attempting it.
we can't get the spice. There's no way to generate the spice at the moment. So I think we just go deliver supplies and just take bumps. I think this is totally fine. Uh, we have to have to call it. There's captured Mentat. So there's that bump done. I think you're wants to get there a bit. I'll be honest, I don't... F it's, it's, it's very hard for us to win. And I can't really do anything to stop Marga anyway, so... I've got to try and focus Irulan to just get stuck in. Yeah, here comes the overthrow, of course. That's why I didn't bother trying to do this. It was a waste of time. Hmm... I do think she is by access. I do think she is by access. We also probably don't even need to retreat the troops. Re pull the spies for this. I think we have enough persuasion anyways. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 as it stands. Because we're drawing like almost our entire deck here. I don't think we need to recall the spy at the council. What have we got to draw? We've got what? Uh, make a keeper coming. We've got... A dagger, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need to pull the... To, we don't need to pull it. Margo. Ah, that's where the other one of those are. Okay, so that's all of those out. I could, but I just don't. I mean, I. You can't play this to council. It's uh, Emperor or. Yeah, you know, basically, that's going to secrets. <coughs> well, Margo's going to have to pull back uh, an agent here. Which is actually pretty important for us. This could be this could be of interesting relevance. Yeah, it's always gonna be that one. Like I do suspect Margot's gonna win this game, so I think we're probably just playing for second. So let's hit captured Mentat. Let's see what happens. I don't think we need to we're pulling enough cards. We don't need to pull this. Let's make a keeper. Uh, so we can discard that for a draw. An intrigue. Pull impress, which is not helping us. So that can now be trashed for another intrigue. It's better. It's not really helping us, though. Um, and I think we just hit espionage. I don't really want to give the supplies away. To either of these two. So we'll pull the espionage spy. Only one person can get there, so as it stands. So we've got two, five, six, eight, nine, ten. We've got bags of persuasion. Unfortunately, I've got no way to generate two spice. Well, one shot. The only way I could do it is to give up Fopter, but Fopter's a point as well, so. You know. Is there anything I could do like secrets? Secrets does give me a couple of. Uh, there is some intrigues that give me. Two spice. The odds of finding them, though, are so low. So. 
I think you just got to make sure we're ahead of your alarm, basically. That's all we can do is just make sure we're second place. Which I think we will be. I, I, I don't think we won't be second place in this. I just think winning is very, very hard to, to really muster. <laughs> and that's our last card, which is whatever that is. Which is, that's the dagger, yeah. What's that one? Uh, Evan, yeah. This will be our first. So we just go like Ara Arakeen and just draw the dagger, I guess. Obviously, I've got the ring, which will give me the extra troop and put another spy down. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. It's pretty wild. If we had high council, we could actually reveal for two spice plus flows. That's absolutely cooked. I guess I would just go Arakeen. Whoops. Um, I've done that enough times. We might as well go Arakeen. There's no reason. There's no reason not to. And we are threatening, like, spring the trap carnage, potentially. Is it worth us? So the question is, is it ever worth us trying to put troops in here? When there's so many intrigues about. And literally only that's been played in these two. And that I sacked off. So there's sword intrigues about for sure. So we don't need to get involved here. We have to basically hope this goes another round. Which is... I don't know how possible. I mean, if Irulan wins the combat, then it's whatever. There's nothing we can do about it. Um... Could just go secrets. Is secrets better than going Arakeen here? That's the question. We are first at next round. Or we go make a keeper to get hold of more water and then, like, we have to get the spice, though, right? I think we actually might need to spring here. For... I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. This is such a mess. Arakeen. Arakeen's, like, just for resources is fine. Or we just go siege for double water. But I still will get the spice though. Nothing's great. If he just is what it is. Uh, I'd rather draw the dagger out though. So I don't have it next round. Take the resources. We could even consider using Fopta to um to like make stockpiling work. Oh yeah, you do yours. So it's two, three, five, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we'll grab that. We can't end the game, whatever we do. Uh two, six, nine, ten, fourteen, that's fine. If game ends, game ends. That's not what you're gonna do. Doesn't really matter. Someone's got something here.
Someone's got something. It's just gonna have, yeah, just to clear out his hand. Just take the five swords. He doesn't want the bump. Doesn't need it. It's fair. And we just kind of see what we draw, basically. Irulan's looking for overthrow to highliner. The game is going to continue. Which is good. We have the fop to match. I have no earthly idea what conflict I want to see here. Propaganda, probably. I think propaganda is probably the best thing for us to see. It isn't. It's money. What do we draw? We draw this hand. Um, I think we just go espionage then, right? We get the spice. We get the card draw. Where's the spy going to go? Probably to Arakeen. We've drawn all our faction axes, which is kind of interesting. We don't need spring. Is spring the trap ever helping us here? I don't think so. We're going to need the spies anyway for this. So... We're basically sitting on four points. If I get spice must flow... We can get a five point round here. End game, both top piling. Spice must flow. That's four, isn't it? Yeah. That's not what I wanted to see. Hello. That's good. That's a point. Seems fine. They don't need to use the intrigues yet. But Shadow Alliance gives us the chance to get a point at the Fremen now. Yeah, I've got three. Oh, you guys can't see properly. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got three intrigues. Five, six, eight. I'm um, short. Not yet. Okay. I know what our next move is. I think we can score five points here. I think we can score five points. Yep. That's what we're thinking, Michael. If you get to 12 points and you don't win, what are you going to do? That's just the way it goes down sometimes. Um, the thing is, we've seen a lot of the end games and we've got Shadow Alliance. There isn't many end games left out there. Secure Spice Trade is basically it. Uh, also, the Show and Profits. Which Margot could very easily have. But us going Fremkit also stops Margot getting there as well. So let's double draw. Could have been better. Five, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just go assembly hall, right? Nothing else makes any sense here.
And we just get to 12 points. If if we win, great. If we don't win, what are you going to do? If Margot's sitting on secure spice trade and showing profits, then I'm glad we went for MKIP. Okay. You got buy access? No, she already has it. Oh, God. She just re-hit current for them, I guess. I mean, I can live with this. It's harder for her to get to 12 points now. It's very hard for her to get to 12 because she has to give off two intrigues to... Uh, she has to give off two cards to do this, so this is actually not bad. It's hard for her to... It's, how does she ever have um, enough here? So she's probably sitting on 11 points. Oh, she had opportunism. Okay. Oh, she sacked it. She sacked off opportunism. Okay, so you can have anything. Right, so it's in assembly hall 100%, right? Nothing else makes any logical sense here. And we just play stockpiling. Yeah. Reinforcements is mercenaries is found. Doesn't do anything for us. So obviously take the two points. And we just sit on 12 points and hope that 12 points is good. Hopefully it's good. Twelve points and a spice. Yep. Well, someone had to have that at this point. We've gone through a lot of this deck. In fact, almost the whole deck's been seen at this point. And for our sakes, Mwadi winning this combat is probably the best thing that can happen. And uh, I mean, it's it's like it's six one half dozen the other. I don't see how Marg can get to twelve points here. Oh, she had rhetoric. That's unlucky. That's unfortunate. All right, then. I think we, we lose then. She's at uh, 12, so blue wins. We did what we could. If she pulls that, that's cool. What? She's got... Wow. Yeah, yeah. GG, you win. All right. Well, we did what we could. We fit. We get second place, though. As I always say, as well, like if you if a game goes eight rounds, it becomes a crapshoot. So, yeah, we did what we could. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. If you're gonna fluke by access off of that, then you just win the game. It's a shame because I had twelve points as well. So, GG. Yep. What do you do? Not lots. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. No, I get the spice. Oh, my God. Am I actually going to... You didn't deploy. Oh. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, you forgot to deploy. Oh, my God. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, well, we weren't going to win it. Well, that's pretty absurd. Is that karma? I don't even know. Uh, it's going to be a crapshoot regardless, so. He didn't deploy! Wow. Biggest little troop there ever was. You can't be kidding me. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> 
He even got to deploy. I mean, be fair, I think we're unlucky. So secure spice trade, is it in here? Entry of none of them were drawn. Wow, that's ridiculous. None of them were found. That's wild. Wow. I mean, he finds... Basically, he's got several intrigues that gets him there. Like, yeah, uh, by access gets him there. That gets him there. That gets him there. He forgot to put the troops in. Can you believe it? Deary me. That is crazy.